Okay, um, this is like part two of what I was going to touch on. I kind of remembered it in this show I'm watching now on the ID channel. Kind of threw me back. It's called Evil Lives Here. Okay, well, one of the things that I was touching on this weekend, it got me a little preoccupied and upset, was childhood bullying and how I have been bullied all through school from kindergarten to grade school. I flipped out in the 11th grade and took nunchucks to school and all kinds of stuff. And how I, got, I even got bullied in college, actually. So I was talking to my friend. Shout out to Adrian Burden. Not my friend, my brother. I got to talking to him. And this is coming like right out of left field. It's a pop fly ball. So we went down memory lane. We were talking all kinds of stuff. I was also talking to my brother, my biological brother, Bud's girlfriend, about childhood bullying and stuff. And how I was a victim of it. And though I knew Kung Fu, I never fought at school because I was scared of my mom than I was of guys picking on me. Because back in the old days, ass weapons weren't illegal. So, we're uh, talking. And uh, somehow we got to talking about like all the school shootings and things because of bullying and the teachers don't defend the weaker children. I wasn't exactly a weak child but I also wasn't one of them kids to just jump off the gun and start beating on people but yet I was bullied a lot for various reasons outside of race and not being able to have a girlfriend and lots of dumb stuff because kids are cruel so while I was discussing this stuff and I got to thinking you know damn is this what like kind of spawns these columbines and blackbirds and stuff when I was talking to my brother's girlfriend, she kind of was like, yeah, that's exactly what spawns it. So, for the next 10 minutes, if possible, I want to touch on high school bullying. Because a lot of the things that come out of my mouth, people don't really care or choose to hear what I'm saying. So, as a victim of being bullied in high school due to race due to the size of my height, due to me being ugly in the eyes of most people, especially the girls who give me a second look. I'm sure most people can relate. And if you can't, then you've been blessed. And yes, that is Superman. Not my favorite hero, but the world could use Superman. Personally, I think they could use Batman, but this isn't a promotional video. DC's not paying me. Plus, I'm more of a Marvel fan. More like Wolverine, because in actuality, he's actually only five foot three, which means he's a half inch shorter than me. Hell to the little guy. Anyway, sorry, can't just say some kind of gay. That's those a thousand dollar teeth. I have to take care of them. Anyway, so we're getting back on school bullying. Yeah, I was picked on about my teeth too. You know, they're not still they're still not straight, but they they're 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 better than what they were a couple of years ago. So, you know, the whole thing, we got on a conversation because we were talking about something. And I was like, yeah, I was bullied in high school. And the conversation with these two people, I was like, I never changed subject. I was talking with both people at the same thing at different times of the day. I was like, I started with Erica, and then I was with Adrian, and then I was back to Erica. But we were talking about school bullying. And I was like, you know what? This is why things like Columbine and stuff happens. Because people pick on people like me. And those little quiet people in class are the ones that make the most dramatic statements. Because you get to a breaking point where you've had all you can take and you refuse to take anymore. So in high school, in the 11th grade, my biology class, I will leave all teachers and bullies' names off. But they know who the fuck they are. I went off. I had my own checks in school. I didn't beat them. And they ran. That's the long and short of that. But I was, I was, I was before Columbine. And that was 90, 92, 93 when all this stuff happened in my school. And then, you know, by the time I got to college, there was some kid in Columbine who was probably just like me. 
I'm not defending his actions. Let's get that abundantly clear. I will never defend the actions of violence, senseless violence on innocent people. However, if he was bullied, and he probably was, everybody else probably, I'm sorry for saying this, everyone else is probably collateral damage. All right? It's not wrong. My heart goes out to the people who lost their lives in Columbine. I was 27 when that happened, so that was over 20 years ago. And I greatly was impacted by Blacksburg because it wasn't something that you see every day. The thing with, with bullying, okay, a victim of being bullied, you know, it, it goes beyond skin color. Blacksburg completely flipped the script because it was a little Asian fella. It just flipped out and started killing people for nothing. I don't have any sympathy for him. I do have sympathy for his parents and his family because no one wants to raise a killer, but no one knows when it's going to happen or who it's going to happen to. I do. My heart does go out to the victims of Blackbirds because they didn't only have that happen, but they also had a girl get decapitated by her boyfriend there, which didn't really make the news as much as the 16 people getting shot on my brother and sister's birthday. So, you know, when you, when you don't think about this stuff, you know, you don't really realize to the people who are raising bullies and don't know that they're raising bullies, you have to be aware of what your child's doing. You have to. You can't watch them all the time. I'll give you that. Because you have to work to feed their asses. But you can still check their behavior. Now, you can have the school tell you, look, what's going on with my kid? You can be a little bit more productive because the people who bullied me, I don't think their parents ever knew. I don't think their parents ever really gave a damn. Oh, he's just a little half-breed kid, so fuck it. Pick on them all you want. But the thing is, you don't know the impact of what your child being a bully does to the next child. And you don't know how many innocent lives that kid that's being victimized is going to take when they hit that breaking point. I must be made out of some really stern stuff because even after hitting my breaking point, I didn't go do what I wanted to do, which was hunt them all down and beat the living shit out of them. Of course, that would have been wrong. It wouldn't have changed the fact that they still bullied me. I confronted a couple of my bullies outside of school and they would run and promise not to do it anymore. And then the same thing when they had back up back in school, they were at it again. You know who you are. You just started making martial arts and MMA, but you can't whoop my ass. You can dream big though. Anyway, to that bully, Mr. Woods, I haven't forgotten you. And though you are MMA, you will never beat me. I've been fighting since I was six, and even on my worst day, you weren't no match for me then, and don't think that martial arts at 40-something is going to change for me now. There are no rules in the streets. Remember that. Back to the bullying. Now, a lot of things make people bullies. But the bully doesn't understand what they're doing to the victim. And then when the victim starts shooting everybody, no one wants to take a blame for being the bully. It's like, oh no, I didn't bully him. I didn't bother him. Oh, yeah, you did. You did, you just don't want to take accountability for it. When I was picked on at school, in grade school, it was easier to go tell a teacher. The teacher would probably pull the other kid off to the side, give a little talk, tell him how sensitive I am, and then nothing really gets done. But I honestly think that all schools should have a no tolerance policy for bullies. I'm going to stop this video and continue in the next one because I'm at the nine minute mark well nine fifteen minute and I'm stopping right about 